about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a short set of hot pink ombre nails. First thing I'm doing is going in and pushing back the cuticles with this cuticle pusher that I got from Amazon, which will be linked down in the description box. Next, I'll be going in with my Ujibas nail drill, which is also from Amazon and will also be linked down below. And I'm just going in and removing the natural shine from the nail and removing some of that cuticle as well. And I am using the Panna sanding bit, which I can't remember off the top of my head what the grit is on them, but I will leave those linked down below as well. Next, I am just dehydrating the nails using the OPI Bond Aid, which is also from Amazon and will be linked down below in the description box. I'm going in and applying some tips that I have from Coco Glam Shop. They are the extra long stiletto tips. I really like working with these tips and they transition into an easy coffin shape. Now I am just blending the tip into the natural nail so that it is a smoother transition. I am priming the nails with the Carlash Max Bond. This is also from Amazon and will be linked down below. It's non-acid and non-burn and my nails last a really long time using this primer. So like I said, we're going to be doing a short set today. She does like to keep her nails pretty short, more on the short medium side. Now I'm going to go in and I like to add a thin coat of clear acrylic on the nails, on the natural nail and the nail tip so that way in case she comes back for a refill and wants to change out the design or color, the clear will be underneath and it will be less filing to do. And this is crystal clear from Nail Supply Glamour. This is my favorite clear acrylic it's so smooth works amazing absolutely love it and i also am using the monomer from nail supply glamour which i really love as well 
it definitely does still have a strong smell but it is not as strong as the Mia Secret one for comparison. For the hot pink, I am using color 123 from Valentino Beauty Pure. I am not sure what the exact name is. It just says 123, but I know that on the website it does have a specific name. I believe it's California Girl, but I'm not 100% sure. I will go ahead and leave it in the description box for you though. Now my phone did stop recording while I added the nude color, however I am using the natural pink cover acrylic powder from Nail Supply Glamour and it worked perfectly with this Valentino color and it blended like a dream. So unfortunately that footage is not there but moving on I am now filing the sides and the um, free edge of the nail using some nail files that are from Amazon, which will be linked down below as well. Now I am just going in and filing the nails using a Panna nail drill bit, and I will leave that linked below also. And this is a fine grit drill bit.
Now I am just buffing the nails with these mini orange buffers that are from Amazon. I really, really like these buffers. They work pretty well. And I love that they're tiny so it doesn't feel like you're wasting such a big buffing block. The gel top coat that I am going in with is the top coat from Coco Glam Shop. It is a really pretty gel top coat and it is non-wipe, which I appreciate so very much. After this, I will be going in with some cuticle oil and then the nails will be completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!